Welcome back. If you're just joining us, it's Daybreak on Trust Television, and it's a newspaper segment where we will be bringing you a detailed review of um, the stories that made it to the front pages of select national newspapers this morning. And as usual, we will begin with the Daily Trust. And the Daily Trust is leading with events, you know, coming out of the U.S. Africa Leaders Summit in Washington, D.C., where, of course, our president, amongst other 50 African leaders, uh, fending. And the headline reads to us, Stop begging West for loans, Ghana president tells African leaders. Uh, Buhari seek U.S. support for 1.9 trillion energy plans. Uh, Nigeria's foreign debt hits 40.6 billion. Ghana seeks 3 billion from IMF. Uh, Africa leaders to borrow uh, to fund wasteful ventures. And this is coming from analysts. You will find this. And um, other details if you open up to page 4 of the Daily Trust. And of course, there you'll find pictures of President Muhammad Wari with other African leaders at the U.S.-Africa Summit in Washington, uh, D.C. Interesting developments that are coming out from there. I'm sure um, uh, analysts in the House would bring you uh, a detailed review of uh, what he thinks about this kind of summit with all African leaders in one room with a single president from the other side of the world. And moving on to other stories, the second biggest story here on the Daily Trust uh, front page is uh, the instruction from the Senate, you know, ordering the central bank to increase cash withdrawal limits uh, while new Naira notes go into circulation today. To other stories, millions of northerners selling PVCs for less than 2,000 Naira. This is coming from the Northern Elders Forum. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Motorists express relief as Buhari opens second Niger Bridge. You'll find the details of that on page 5. And excitement as NPA is a judge level 5 platinum level organization by the Bureau for Public Service Reform. Uh, you'll find that story on page 23. And to other stories, custom rakes in 7 billion at Lagos Airport. Why I will succeed Buhari, according to Kwankwasu. And France beat Morocco to set up final clash with Argentina. Interesting developments there on the front page of the Daily Trust newspaper this morning. Okay, let's take a look at some more stories on the Nation newspaper this morning. And the lead story right there on the Nation uh, says huge crowd received Tunubu in Mina. That story is on page three on the Nation newspaper. And uh, you'd find other stories as well. Uh, hiccups in PVC distribution. Prospective voters besiege centers. We are addressing challenges. Uh, you'd find other stories just uh, above the name plate there. Senate to CBN, adjust cash withdrawal limit. Federal government okays whistleblower bill to strengthen anti-graft war. And on page 2 and page 4 on The Nation, banks roll out redesigned narrow notes today. Jam remits 50 billion naira to federal government. And uh, there's a story there about uh, uh, Obagina lies without shame, manufacturers own alternate reality. Uh, these are the major stories on The Nation this morning. Moving on to the Punch newspaper, it has um, the major story. Banks reconfigure ATMs, new Naira notes enter circulation today. Uh, bank officials complain of small allocation from the Central Bank of Nigeria. It may fail it to appear before reps over withdrawal limits. And you also find pictures there of President Mohamed Buhari's engagement at the U.S.-Africa Summit, as well as um, the uh, chairman of the United Bank for Africa and his wife with um, U.S. Um, Secretary of State Antony Blinken uh, on the sideline of uh, the U.S.-Africa Leaders Summit in Washington, D.C. And to other stories, uh, Kudirat Abiola's children sue FG, uh, demand $10 million. You'll find that story on page 8. And um, 2023, INEC budget $117 billion for anti-hacking softwares, others. Uh, PID, Nigeria's failed contract debt, hit $5 trillion. And FG approved new whistleblower bi whistleblower's bill, cancels tax holiday. Um, and to other stories, NNPC price slash fails to end for queues. Uh, these are the major stories on the front page of the Punch newspaper. On daily independence this morning, federal government to tighten tax, admin to augment revenues, create jobs, 
OK's 9.24 billion for life insurance for public servants. Uh, and then uh, laments whistleblower's policy has lost momentum. Uh, you'd find other stories on the Daily Independent. Uh, there's a picture there of Tony Elimelu, founder, uh, Tony Elimelu Foundation Group Chairman, uh, United Bank of Africa, Anthony Blinken, uh, United States Secretary of State, and Awele Elumelu, co-founder of Tony Elimelu Foundation during the opening ceremony of the ongoing U.S. Africa Leaders Summit hosted by U.S. State Department and Tony Elumelu Foundation in Washington, D.C. Uh, you'd find uh, other stories as well. Um, Nati Bax's panel on oil thefts insists Nigeria lost 12.25 trillion in 12 years. Uh, review upward cash withdrawal limits. Senate, Senate tells CBN, I've done my best in seven and a half years. That's according to President Muhammad Buhari. And on page nine, you'd find the story about stakeholders ask incoming government to declare emergency on power. Uh, reps hail DSS, say crime rate has reduced ahead of 2023 elections. Uh, and then PSC promotes 745 senior police officers, OK's placements for CPs. Uh, and then uh, you see the story about court sets aside contempt proceedings, committal order against IGP. And uh, on page 7, you see... An interesting story about Kogi emerges best performing state in World Bank's Irene project. These are the major stories on the Daily Independent. And of course, to the flagship, the Guardian newspaper this morning, we still have stories staying with the cashless economy. Uh, cashless economy, 80 billion USSD debt, weakened digital channel as new Naira notes arrive. Um, you'll find all the riders there. Visit your bank today for redesigned bills. CBN urges Nigerians. First one, Nigeria should join global trend. Pay attention to real challenges. Let e-payment evolve naturally, says Yusuf. A lamp to engage CBN on negative impacts of policy on agents. Uh, that would be the, the POS Association. Low smartphones penetration may hinder service. Um, Cherished, urge revocation of draconian policy. Uh, different perspective there coming from different stakeholder group. Uh, you want the details of that, you would have to pick today's Guardian newspaper. And we have um, from Nigeria to the world, uh, the WTO Director General, Dr. Ngozi Okunje Iwala there with um, other participants on the sideline of the U.S.-Africa Summit. Uh, U.S. partnership with Africa, key to world success, says Biden. And to other stories, uh, directly below the name Max, the Max Head, rather, we have Nigeria's elite stole 16.25 trillion oil in 12 years, says Naiti. You'll find the details of that on page 3. And NCC raises the alarm as malware attacks over 300,000 devices. Um, and to other stories, there are fascia visits as Second Niger Bridge opens. Uh, today. These are the major stories on the front page of the Guardian newspaper. And now we are joined in the studio by the editor in chief of Deadline newspaper, Marlon Nasrullah, a regular in house guest, to bring us um, insightful, in depth analysis of some of these issues that made it to the front page of the newspaper. It's a pleasure to have you join us in the studio again. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Um, let us start with the U.S.-Africa um, summit. It seems to have made it to the front page of most of the papers, um, and particularly from, from the angle of the Daily Trust, where uh, it reports that the Ghanaian president uh, was calling on his, on his compatriots uh, to stop running to, to the West for loans. Uh, incidentally, on the day that the IMF also approved $3 billion, <laughs> and we know how much uh, the Ghanaian economy has been... Um, has been dancing Buga in the <laughs> in the global stage. All the metrics and indices seem to be going south. Um, but is there any sense in what in what he has said? I, I mean, is this something they should be looking at? Because he talks about, you know, being able to earn the respect of, of global leaders, and we can't do that every time by running to the Britain Woods um, institutions for some kind of loans. Uh, unfortunately for him, like you said, uh, mm -hmm. it didn't help his argument. Uh, mm -hmm. The fact that uh, on the very day that he is 
coming out to say this important uh, thing, uh, the IMF is also handing out uh, you know, loans to, to, to Ghana. <laughs> but uh, it's also unfortunate that uh, African leaders have made themselves like uh, junior partners in all mm. these uh, kind mm. of engagements. Mm. Uh, it's actually not a problem, you know, for you to go seeking for loans and what have you. Because anytime there is a mismatch between what you are spending and uh, the revenue that you are able to generate, mm. then you have to go uh, borrowing. Mm. Uh, but like the analyst, uh, you know, spoken to by the Daily Trust uh, mentioned, they're actually borrowing to, to, to fund their, you know, exotic, uh, expensive lifestyle, mm. not... Mm. Uh, for any uh, development. Mm. And then you can see, even from the idea of the summit that they are attending, you know, every country, you know, they want to do summits with African leaders. Mm. And they don't even have, like, uh, the, the, the respect, mm. you know, to, to hold it here in Africa. Mm. Uh, they are always doing, a, like, calling them to, mm. to their countries to be able to do that. And what do the African leaders do? Uh, simply because they want the photo opportunities with all these leaders and the rush to, to, mm. to all the summits and in the end uh, you see nothing to, to mm. take home uh, from it. Uh, you can see uh, one of the things that they mentioned in uh, the, the opening ceremony is uh, Agenda 2063 I yeah. think which is a blueprint of the Af uh, African Union uh, to, to make Africa a powerhouse by 2063. So uh, this is like the United States of America, like, uh, should I say, summoning them to Washington, mm. you know, to know what that agenda is mm. about, and then how uh, the agenda will not like sideline uh, the US or whittle down its uh, uh, influence. influence in Africa. So it's actually good that uh, the Ghanaian president is saying it, uh, uh, maybe if they have forgotten, now it's an opportunity for them to remember. Mm. Uh, if they keep uh, looting their treasury, you know, taking the money outside, mostly to these European and Western uh, mm, capitals, then we'll continue to have mm. things like this. Mm. You know, if mm. we are able to generate money here in Africa, we wouldn't be going uh, cap in hand, you know, mm -hmm. uh, begging for loans, uh, not even to the U.S., even to to places like China, mm -hmm. Russia, mm -hmm. and other institutions. Well, uh, a lot of people say the Western world eventually finds its way, but as African Africans, rather, would there ever come a time where we are able to stand on our own without any, you know, foreign interference? Yeah, we should be able to do that, but our leaders are not in any way helping uh, matters. You can see even the things like uh, the bronzes that were looted mm. from Africa, mm. we have to beg for them to be returned. Okay. That shows you that uh, it's either we are not commanding the respect that we deserve or our leaders uh, because of what uh, the West and other leaders know about them. You know, they're easily, very mm. easy to manipulate. Mm. Uh, they get mm. them to do things that uh, may be around contrary to even the interest of uh, their countries. You mm. can see so many African leaders. Uh, today you hear about uh, the son of uh, an African uh, president uh, being uh, held in the U.S. over mm. so, so, so charges. You know, things that uh, it, they don't like help the cause of Africa mm. in any way. Mm. So maybe uh, if the leaders are serious about uh, uh, their responsibilities, uh, we, we should see a day and uh, rather soon mm. uh, when we should be you know independent being able to stand on our feet and then take positions without uh, influence from any outside quarters interesting um, very interesting perspective there and i hope like you rightly mentioned that um, that day comes um, soon rather than later uh, because as an african or even as a nigerian you you sort of feel inferior when you see this kind of things happening. Mm -hmm. To think that um, it's day two or day three, and they have not even had a photo ops with the so-called uh, president of the United States, uh, you know, tells you how much 
they even regard these things other than just making the venue available? Do they really even take these leaders serious? But that will be a conversation uh, for another time. We'll move on quickly to other um, issues that made the front pages today. The Daily Trust, uh, still staying with the Daily Trust, we have stories of um, coming from the Northern Elders Forum. Um, alleging that um, northerners are selling PVCs for less than 2,000. Uh, we also have, I think yesterday we had stories from Nasara mm. of how account details of, um, of agents have been taken ahead of the election in view of the new cash withdrawal limits. Is there something this, these politicians would not do to Manipulate. just allow this process to <laughs> go <laughs> without this kind of manipulation? So what, what do you make of this development? Well, uh, if uh, at the end of the day this is established you know to be true uh, there are laws in the land mm. you know this forms a uh, part of the electoral offenses that uh, mm. we are talking about so um, our law enforcement agencies you know all they need is to to take up the issue because mm. if you are talking about millions Honestly, it will be very difficult to, hmm. to hide. Hmm. Uh, maybe you should be able to establish at least two or three cases hmm. that you can set hmm. Uh, hmm. as an example. But uh, it's also worrying that uh, millions of people will be handing out their, their PVCs, you know, just for 2,000 Naira. Hmm. Uh, that tells you the state of the economy and then voter education hmm. because Essentially, they don't see anything uh, maybe uh, worthwhile, you know, in even taking part uh, in, in the, the elections. When in the in reality, you know, whatever you do, uh, you will have to live with it for mm. uh, a very good four years, mm. and uh, four years is no, uh, you know, four <laughs> seconds or four True. minutes. So. Uh, I think the, the law enforcement agencies and the other relevant, uh, re relevant authorities should take up on this uh, matter. Mm. Even though I doubt uh, the number, you know, to say millions, because if you are talking about millions, you know, mm. there are states that have maybe one or two million voters, and mm. uh, to be able to have that number. And then, uh, like, if you multiply 2,000 mm. Naira by just a million Naira, mm. uh, yeah, that's the, the, huge. It's, it's certainly huge. Mm. So maybe uh, they are trying to, like, draw attention to it in a way that uh, uh, it mm. will be given all the seriousness that uh, it deserves. That's true. Okay. Well, today the new Naira notes will be in circulation. And already bank officials are complaining of... Um, small allocations from the CBN. How do you think this is going to turn out? Well, uh, from the beginning, I expected this to happen, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, from the explanations that the CBN is making, uh, they are trying to improve, you know, our electronic uh, transactions, you know, other channels rather than uh, cash uh, mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. So if they will uh, simply replace uh, the, the old notes we have with new ones, then the, the aim will have been defeated. So uh, Nigerians will just learn to uh, maybe live with it. Uh, by this I mean uh, those who do not have accounts, you know, should try and open. And then those who are not using all the uh, other channels of transactions mm -hmm. uh, should also try and see how they can you know, join the fray and uh, mm. be part of it. But uh, you can also see that uh, so many people are now complaining with the fact that uh, anytime you want to transfer, even if it is just 5,000 Naira, sometimes to your own, because Nigerians have so many accounts, mm -hmm. to your own account, <laughs> yes. you will send 5,000 Naira and, and you before wait. you will receive uh, the alert, you know, it will take uh, a while. Mm -hmm. So if things like this will happen, uh, Honestly, uh, Nigerians may not want to join uh, and help the cause of the CBN, the way they are saying. Just recently, I saw a cartoon, mm. you know, uh, mm. depicting a market, uh, a village market, mm. you know, saying, uh, no, you can't have these goods until I receive the alert. Yeah. And then <laughs> also complaining, no, 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 there is a network issue. issue. And what yeah. So unless we are able to address uh, these challenges. Uh, honestly, the, the, the aim or the idea that we have about going cashless will continue to suffer 
uh, setback. So mm -hmm. Nigerians should know that CVN will certainly not replace uh, the old notes. Mm -hmm. uh, we With just new knew one. it out. <laughs> Uh, trying to to see mm. how they can reduce the number of uh, mm. uh, physical money in, tra uh, in tra circulation. circulation. Mm. But interestingly, some of the persons that are even shouting the more are people who um, you would think that by their inclination they would have nothing to do. I mean, we saw the Senate members of the Senate yesterday asking that uh, the daily limit should be set to five hundred thousand yeah. for individuals and three million for. Uh, if a corporate organization will have the need to do a three million naira business, why does it have to do it in cash? Uh, I mean, uh, one would think that um, as lawmakers, they should be doing things that, I mean, it's the same house that is making effort to criminalize the payment of ransom to, yeah. to, yeah. to uh, kidnappers. Yeah. Uh, and you are also encouraging uh, high volume of cash. How, how do we marry? your intention on the one hand and, and um, what you are advocating for on the other. What, what do you make of the lawmakers and generally the lawmakers' agitation towards this? Well, this it shows limit? that uh, they are also, you know, <laughs> the beneficiaries <laughs> of uh, the old order, mm. uh, you know, if I can put it that way, because uh, they are already used to, you know, doling out cash and uh, what have you. Now they are seeing that being challenged by the new policy that uh, the CBN is coming up with. What I expect them to do actually is to uh, follow up on it, to make sure that the CBN is also uh, doing the needful. That's mm. in, in making sure that uh, Everybody. all the channels and then people are being carried along. Because mm. uh, what is going to be due to you will still be due to you. Absolutely. But uh, what they are just telling you is the fact that you don't have to hold them uh, physically. Mm. Uh, you know, you have your, your, your bank uh, mm. uh, statement, mm. uh, you can always access that to know how much you have. You don't have to like put it under your pillow, <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> all the time, yeah. you know, checking in uh, to see uh, mm. the amount that mm. you have. So unless the senators are beneficiaries of the old order or they want that to continue, mm. uh, honestly, I expect them to do uh, something other than this, mm. which is to actually make sure uh, the CBN is doing uh, all the things that are necessary mm. you know, to make sure that this uh, succeeds. Okay, well, I'm not a lover of sports, but <laughs> <laughs> I could feel, uh, you know, the vibe that, uh, you know, people are giving. And I, I, I particularly like the way it's spelled out here, World Cup, Brave Morocco bow out to France. I could see the disappointment yesterday on people's faces and but well people we do love Morocco don't mm. we yeah. so how did you feel you know when you watched that game well you know at a point uh, the, the support that Morocco uh, had you know uh, it dissipated with mm. with time because mm -hmm. Uh, since uh, one of their players made that uh, Comment. Uh, remark mm -hmm. that uh, they were like representing the Arab, Arab world, world. Uh, you wow. know, so many Africans thought, no, 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 that's are not one of us. That, yeah, that's, no. uh, <laughs> not for us. And uh, but you know, if you look at it, if you look at it, uh, these are things that you know we do all the time. Yeah. Sometimes Nigeria will do something, I will say it's for the black race. Yes. Mm. Uh, if you do that, you're also <laughs> alienating mm, yeah, uh, the non-blacks in, yeah. in the continent. Mm. So, And uh, it also has to do with uh, the politics of identity. Mm. Yes, Morocco is in Africa. Mm. Yes, they are also Arabs. Mm -hmm. And then uh, some are actually supporting them because they are Muslims. Uh, mm -hmm. So mm. people have reasons for, for right. the support, but I want to congratulate mm. Morocco, mm. you know, for being the first African country to make it to the, uh, the World Cup uh, semi-finals. And then even without doing anything, you know, they have uh, achieved quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And I hope Nigerians will look at this as a source of inspiration so mm. that uh, mm. we can also mm. uh, see the fact that it is actually doable if sure. we put in the efforts and uh, what have you. But, mm. uh, you know, that's football. Already mm -hmm. you can see, uh, like on the social media, they are saying it's actually the United States of Africa oh that is <laughs> another African country. Because <laughs> yeah. in the French uh, national team, you have mm -hmm. like uh, 14 or 15, 15. African mm -hmm. uh, yeah. or players of African uh, origin. So 
uh, and that's another thing that the West, you know, is mm. like uh, popular in doing. Mm. Anytime they, ha they, they want your talent, you know, they go uh, all, all out, out for it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And uh, uh, by the time they start misbehaving, you know, they are and yeah, they they start identifying them, identifying them, them as with their states, uh, the, their nations of origin. Mm -hmm. So I congratulate Morocco and I hope Nigeria will see this as, you know, as an inspiration to be able to do more. Uh, uh, in very interesting Africa. there. And to think that Morocco got to this feat. Uh, with an indigenous coach. Mm -hmm. um, it's another lesson for us to learn, uh, as a matter of fact. Uh, and, and there are so many things to take away from this World Cup. It's, 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 it's a World Cup of surprises, as somebody yeah. uh, yeah. rightly yeah. puts yeah. it. Uh, I hope we find the inspiration to, to put our hands in order. I mean, some of the, the, the teams that bowed out earlier than Morocco uh, saw the, the national team coaches coming out to say, I've come to the end of my time. I, I couldn't motivate them beyond this point. Mm -hmm. And you know what's interesting? Within 24, 48 hours, they have replacements. Yeah. Um, but, but in well, this country, I mean, we will sit here players. and shop around the world. We'll take some executive <laughs> flying around just to get, get people who fit the job. Uh, yeah. There's this other story from the Punch newspaper that I would like to get your perspective on. And it will be with the NNPC price slash. Uh, how the NNPC price slash failed to end fail queues. I mean, in fairness, um, Abuja has seen some better days uh, compared to uh, what we have endured in the last seven, eight months, in fact, since February this year. But it, it appears the sufferings have only shifted to, to the states. Kanu, for instance, had touched 350, 400 in some filling stations. Uh, the same with Kaduna and several other states of the Federation. I, isn't there anything we can do about this situation, in your opinion? Well, uh, I think it's like early to mm. say uh, whether it has failed to, to like change the narrative because uh, when did the NNPC make that uh, uh, you know comment and we're only like two three days mm. uh, into it so maybe it will take a week or so and like you said it's uh, encouraging that in Abuja and, and Lagos. Uh, possibly Lagos you know uh, the queues are disappearing but uh, if you look at what is happening in other states, mm. then you will know that uh, we still have uh, way. You know, so many things to, 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 to face uh, mm. in the coming days. Uh, so slashing the price is one thing, and then following up on it to make sure that the, the, the products are mm. available you know, is also another. Uh, I saw the president, you know, in the United States of America saying that uh, by 20, uh, is it 2030 or so, mm. that uh, we'll also find a way of uh, stopping uh, diesel <laughs> and uh, <laughs> petrol run yes. uh, generators. You know, sometimes you wonder what <laughs> our, 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 our leaders, Priority, you know, yes. uh, their priorities and what they think. Because right now we are having this issue, right now we are having this challenge, and then we are looking at uh, something uh, that is not even not like, within our within our range. So, so honestly, I think uh, it's <laughs> not it's it's not the best. And the NNPC that made that statement should also follow up to make sure mm. that uh, the products are mm. available, so that it wouldn't be continue to be business as mm. usual. Hmm. Well, before we wrap up uh, the newspaper review, I would like for you to quickly um, comment on this story. Uh, well, Tinubu seems to be pulling a lot of crowd, uh, like we're seeing this on the Nation newspaper. A uh, huge crowd receives Tinubu in Mina, Niger State. Uh, did you think... <laughs> Well, I hope they are not part of those who have already sold uh, their things. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, one thing with, one thing mm. with uh, politicians, I don't understand all this, you know, craze about having, you know, the, the, the biggest uh, crowd. Mm. The crowd that you see here, uh, you are likely to see them when at Yuku, Absolutely. Mm. you know, because uh, they are being paid, actually. Most of the people you see, they are being paid to, to attend mm. all these rallies. So, wow. because in Kaduna, I know this, I saw uh, a young girl who mm. said uh, she received uh, some money to attend mm. uh, the, the rally of a political party. And she said, okay, even the next one, I have, 
I have already given them my name. <laughs> so that, uh, you know, I, mean, I think on the internet she... we saw uh, a Nigerian, a woman uh, it was, I think, that, that, that had the wrapper of the APC on and the T-shirt of the PDP. Uh, <laughs> and coming from one of those really with the goodies that they were handed. Yeah. Uh, but more importantly from, from Mina, of course, uh, with a bit of bias on my part, I belong to a number of uh, WhatsApp groups from my alma mater and all. Uh, and, and there were some kind of complaints about the rally in Mina. We just mounted the podium and, and uh, chanted the party's <laughs> uh, name and, and greeted everybody and, and said, save worry, and came down without making any policy statements. Uh, is that what rallies and campaigns should be about? Because I, I'm sure people looked forward <laughs> to saying something that would impact Absolutely. Uh, Nigelites, uh, whether it's about their vast lands or about the portion of the states that is under the control of uh, uh, the activities of insurgents, or even the fact that that state is practically inaccessible mm -hmm. uh, and it's one of the wildest states in Nigeria. Why, why would you come and spend 10, 11 minutes just chanting your party and not speak to the peculiarities of that state as it affects even the country? Well, I actually saw uh, the argument, you know, that they tried to make, like, uh, he actually said something when he went to commission the offices of, uh, of the, the party. presidential campaign, and then he also made some policy statements when he visited the emir of Mina. Hmm. But, you know, uh, we'll say thank God for social media, Absolutely. because if you look at most of the traditional uh, newspapers, yes. uh, Nobody Nothing. paid attention that. to that. Nobody. You know, so like uh, the nation, for mm. instance, you know, they, they, they just centered around the fact that there was a huge, huge, crowd. huge crowd. crowd. Nobody told no us message. what actually <laughs> happened. You know, yeah. so uh, like I said, thank God for social media. Things like this, uh, even if uh, somehow they couldn't find their way into the traditional media, somehow Nigerians will still get to, to, mm. to see them. And it helps mm -hmm. because this is something that will help you to also. Uh, decide on what you need to do maybe mm -hmm. going forward because without knowing all the information without knowing all the issues you may not be able to take the right uh, decision true mm -hmm. interesting it's been um, a couple of minutes there with uh, the editor-in-chief of deadline newspaper we've looked at quite a number of issues as it borders on, on our country nigeria whether it is politics or sports uh, I mean, in terms of sport, it's good to know that we still have Africans in, in the final, mm. whichever way you choose to look at it. African uh, Arabs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so we have people who look like us that we'll probably be rooting for mm. uh, come Sunday. And um, it will be interesting to keep an eye on, on how Africans would, would, would align and Europeans, as, as the case may be. Um, and, and we looked at quite a number of issues with the new Naira note. As we said this morning with Z, anybody handing you something that looks funny, you want to be mm. sure? If it's uh, the real one. <laughs> it is the real one. Uh, this is not to uh, incite any kind of fear, but uh, you would rather want to stick with what you know mm -hmm. than take something you are not very <laughs> sure about. Take us a while, I guess. Yeah, uh, we will it. adjust. Um, look out for some of the security signs and be sure that whatever you are handed is not just a piece of paper with some bleaching. Bleached version. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Thank you very much, sir, for finding time to be in the studio with us. We look forward to seeing you another time. Thank you for having me.